Hello, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Blend tool in Midjourney AI. First of all, go to a channel which has the Midjourney bot or to your direct messages with the AI itself. Now, you're going to generate a few images or if you want to use your own images, you can skip later in the video. First, we're going to generate. So, Just wait for it to generate. After you're done generating, you're going to upscale any image that you like using the U4 button. Pick any from these two. After that, you're going to click on it, right click, and then hit the Save Image As button and save it anywhere on your computer. After saving, you're going to type slash blend instead of slash imagine and then select your images. After selecting, just find your image and paste them here one by one. You can also use more than two images by clicking in the text section and selecting image three. But we don't really need that third image right now. So we're going to back out of that. And what you're going to do after selecting your images is just hit enter. Just wait for it to generate your images. Here it's done generating and we can see that it merged our images together. Now if you like any of these, you can either upscale them to download the exact image or you can create more versions by clicking V3 or V4. We like the version 4 so we're going to hit version 4 and it's going to generate us 4 more images of the 4th image. And that's basically how to use Blend. We can also try using Blend again, but using one of these images we created. So with three images, I'll show you that too. You're just going to upscale and download any one of these after it's done. Now it's done generating, so I'm just going to download one of these. Now you can either zoom out or zoom in, that's your choice. Just save image as. And we're going to use the blend tool again. You have to keep in mind that you can use up to 5 images if that's what you need. And you can also change the dimensions over here. But there's only 3 options, so just choose portrait, square or landscape. We're keeping portrait for now. And we're just going to upload our 3 images that we want to use. We're going to be using this this we're just going to be using this one for the first image this one for the second and this last one for the third we're going to hit generate and wait for it to generate the images now it's done generating us our images and we can have a look blended all of the images together it gave the hair from this image and added our frog in between too. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.